Hey there, Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you tonight? It is 7 o'clock. Hopefully straight up. Might be 7.01 now. But anyway, so for tonight, we're going to go over some of the specials that are going on. We're going to go over what we're raffling off. We're going to do question of the day. And we're going to create... Um, tonight, we're doing heat embossing dry embossing and partial embossing all three so are you ready we're off to the races let's go hold on a second let me flip and we'll see how this new contraption works i've got a new mount so we'll see we'll see we'll see Everything is trial and error. Let's see if we, it's better or not, right? So it's a different mount. It doesn't screw to the table. It just sits on top of it. So we'll see if it's better or not. Let me know. So thank you for joining me. And I'm going to get the computer set up, get everything ready to go. And I'm trying to figure out, I don't know about you, but I am trying to figure out how to dress. One day it's 90, and the next day it's 50, and then it's windy, and then, yeah, it's just pretty constant, huh? <laughs> so, for changing, that is. So, if you're joining me, please say hello. Hey, Iris. Hey, Cheryl. How are you guys tonight? All right. So, for tonight... I got a couple things to go over. First off, Rubber Rummage is the 26th, which is next weekend. I know. It came quick, didn't it? Hey, Pam, how are you? So, if you are dropping stuff off, mailing stuff, whatever the case, your window of opportunity is next Monday, the 21st through Thursday, okay? And then Friday I get it all set up and Saturday we have it. So there you go. Um, so let's see. That's about all I got for that. Because that's where we're at with it, huh? So if you haven't picked up boxes, please do so. If you don't have time to pick up a box, you can drop your stuff off and put it in a box. Um, yes, I ask that you use mine and not something else so everything is the same. Hey Barb, how are you? So, um, that is next Saturday. You do not have to be here to sell, but you do have to drop off, so, or mail. So, um, let's see. All right, um, tonight is the last night to reserve your spot or get it to go. This is the craft class for this month. This is five slimline cards for $15. So we've got this one. We've got this one. We've got this one. I don't have anything in the middles. Got this one and then this one's embossed. This is the March class. So, um, and like I said, Tonight, midnight, is the deadline. So, you you want to tell me if you're coming. Secondly, can you believe it? I have April ready to go. Can, I know. Are you in shock? I am too. <laughs> so, um, April's class. April's class. Yes, you will see me Saturday morning. Hey, Cheryl. Um, I have you down, honey. So, April's class. This is on shimmery white, and we're going to be doing some... Hey, Gina. We're going to... Hopefully you can hear me, honey. <laughs> we're going to be doing some um, ink lifting with masking. So, that's this one. The bundle, obviously, is the ladybug... Um punch set. So this is a 
shadow box pop-up card. So, do you see the middle, how it goes like that? So that's another one. And then last but not least, mini paper pumpkin box. The wings are the flower. And then we got a bumblebee going on. And then some Easter grass with a bit of honey because the bee, right? Okay, so there you go. And then the bonus for this class is you get a pack of the, I always say this backwards. Hey, Jill, um, matte black dots, might be black matte dots. Anyways, you will get a pack of those as well to go with the class. That class is Thursday, April 14th or Saturday the 16th, okay? It's all on the website, all ready to go. The invite's already been sent out. Um, I have not invited everybody. The event is up on Facebook, but I have not invited everybody yet. So, there's that. Um, let's see, next. These colors, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight. What do they all have in common? Do you guys know? Other than they're the in colors. Do you know what's going on with these? Anybody? Anybody? I'm going to get a sip of water. Maybe somebody could tell me. Anybody know? So these colors are the older in colors that will be retiring come May. Beginning of May. Yep. So, I'm letting you know right now, okay, that they're retiring. Translation, if you need an ink refill, if you need cardstock, I'm assuming you've already gotten your pads, but if you need any of that, please don't wait, because remember last time they ran out and then some people were mad, okay? Also, April 1st, shipping is going up. Because, hello, everything in this world has gone up in the last, like, two months, right? So, um, shipping goes up April 1st, and there are prices going up in the new annual catalog. I don't know what that might be. I will know by the end of the month, and I'll pass along details as I can. But, I want to let you know, straight up front... Postal service has gone up three times for packaging. So guess what? We're going to add a dollar. Okay? That's just what it is. So I just want to make you aware. So if you're running low on white, order it before the first so you don't have to pay extra. And that's all there is to it. The new club link is up. You know, all that fun stuff. So... Pam, as far as the, the craft class, you can get it to go, you can come, you can come on a Monday. I know you're in Nevada, hun. So, <laughs> count you in for craft class for April. Tell me what session, Cheryl. Um, so Pam, if you want it to go, you will need the, um, at least the ladybug stamp set. Um, the bonus would be if you bought the punch too, but the stuff will come punched. It's just if you mess up, you know, you're kind of done for it, right? So, um, so that's it. So I've got the invites out, um, and evidently I'm taking notes. All right, Cheryl's in for Saturday. I'm writing notes. Cheryl, Saturday morning? Saturday morning? Well, if you already have it, then you're good, huh? Then it's 10 bucks. So Pam, ladybug to go. Got it. Is that what you mean? Saturday morning, I wrote that. You got it. All right, Pam, let me know if that's what you mean. All right, so for tonight, I'm gonna be, oh, let's do question of the day, right? So while we were talking about the retired retiring in colors okay my question is pam i don't know what that means honey <laughs> i'll smile big t 
you. I'm assuming that means the to-go $10 option. Um, just say yes or thumbs up. So, all right, so question of the day for today. So to be entered into the raffle for this brand new Island Vibes. Okay, Pam, got it. But you need to let me know if you want it to go. So, um, all right, so we're gonna be raffling off the Island Vibes set. So, in order to qualify for the raffle, you need to respond with hashtag question of the day and then your response, right? So, which of the five in colors, I haven't said it yet, <laughs> Gina, which of the five in colors will you miss the most? Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee. Okay, got it. Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, or Misty Moonlight. Okay. Which of the five in colors will you miss the most? Or which one do you use the most? It goes in phases for me. It depends on the season. Cinnamon Cider, I used a whole bunch in the fall. Um, Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight, oh my gosh. And honestly, Just Jade, I haven't used as much as I thought I would. And Magenta Madness, we have Polish Pink and we have Melon Mambo, so, you know, it's okay. So, um, hey, Rena, how are you? So, we're raffling off the Island Vibes tonight. So, you know, it's 90 here in the desert today, or 85 or something like that, and honestly... I'm like, yesterday was like 50, tomorrow, who knows? And I'm going, this kind of weather makes me want to go to the beach. So hence the island vibes, okay? <laughs> so there you go. So for tonight, we are going to be embossing. And we're going to be doing heat. We're going to be doing um, dry embossing and partial embossing. So the heat, we all know, is Versamark with the heat and the crystals and all that. Um, so the dry embossing is the folder, right, through the machine. Partial embossing is when you block off, and I'll explain, okay? And we'll get there. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, this is showcasing the art gallery bundle, if you're wondering. Um, and also the tasteful labeled dies. That's what I have. Okay. So for this card, you will need a thick basic white piece of cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 on the 11 inch side. This is scored at five and a half. Okay. Then you will need a piece of basic gray cardstock. This is cut at five and a quarter by four. Okay. Then I have a piece of the silver foil. This is, which looks very close to the basic gray, but is not, I promise. Um, this is cut at five by three and three quarters. And then I have a little tiny piece. This is out of the art gallery. Floral Gallery Dies. Almost looks like a reverse postage stamp to me, but I've already pre-cut it. Um, just trying to not be here till nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> there you go, okay? Um, then I have, I wanted to show you what I used for my shims and I'll explain in a minute and we'll get there. And then I have the thinner piece of chipboard that comes in the back of our designer series paper. We have a really, really, really thick piece that comes like in the paper pumpkin kits, the regular kits that's a little bit smaller, but it's a whole lot thicker. You can't actually cut through that and that's not the kind I used. I used the chipboard that is, we've got the one, the white one that comes backing the regular designer series paper. That's too thin, but there's this middle one and this is what I have used to, um, do what I need to do, okay? So I grabbed what I wanted for my die and I literally just cut it out. It took about four passes and what I did, so when you're cutting, 
Normally you use, let me get the platform. Hold on a second. So when you're doing the stamp and cut and emboss machine, okay, normally for dies, right? Place die cutting edge down. And then you're gonna use one, two, and three. So not four, which is the specialty plate. So one, two, three. Yes, mine are well loved. Um, three, and then whatever die, whatever cardstock, and then your three on top. So what I did instead was I pulled number two out, okay? And I let it be. And what I did instead was I grabbed three or four pieces of cardstock. This is just like matte scraps that I had laying around, okay? And I put them down, okay? And then what I did was I put this on top as I'm supposed to, right? Okay? And then I put, to cut this, then I put this on top in the die and I ran it through. How do you know when it's good? Well, you know when it's good when you push it and your handle moves a tiny bit, but you can still go through, right? So, um, if your handle doesn't move enough at all, then you know you don't have enough pressure, which means you gotta put a couple more pieces of cardstock. It really depends on the day, honestly, if there's humidity in the air, all that kind of stuff, that changes your thickness of your paper. It depends on your machine. It depends on how strong you are. It depends on all kinds of things. So honestly, I could tell you it was about four or five sheets to shim it correctly, but for you, it might be two, it might be three. It just really depends, okay? Be ready for up to about six until you figure it out and figure out your sweet spot. So for this one, all right, the sample I did, we used this piece because what happens is I put this on here and where the chipboard is, that's extra pressure and that's where it embosses, okay? You gotta think, for once, I'm gonna tell you to think negatively instead of positively, right? And you're gonna think about it being opposite. So the more pieces you have, the more pressure it has, the more it imprints, correct? Okay, so this next card, we're gonna do a tiny bit differently and we'll be just fine. So instead of doing the outer part, I'm gonna do the inner part and emboss around instead. So it's just gonna be a little bit different because you know I can't do the same thing twice, right? <laughs> so question of the day is, if anybody's joining me, is which of the five in colors will you miss the most that is going out? I have to explain that because we do have two sets, right? This year's and last year's, correct? So there we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my machine up. Do you guys like this new um, arm that I have? I got a new camera mount and I'm not sure yet. It's a little bit more wobbly, but it's easier for me to handle because it doesn't have screws and parts and all kinds of stuff. So, all right, so for this one, we are grabbing the beehive guy again. And I am simply putting this, hopefully in the center. If it's not directly, we'll get it, it's okay. And we're gonna put this down when you are placing your stuff on your machine. Do it on your platform on the machine so you don't have it perfectly lined up and then still have to move it, okay? That's what I'm gonna tell you. And you know what? I needed the plate underneath too. So I still have to move mine. <laughs> there we go. Cause I forgot about that. No, that was for the dies. This is how we go. Well, that's fine, hun. Um, if you don't want it, then just don't do question of the day. Not a problem.
So, all right, so I've got not the adapter in, and instead of the specialty plate, because this is an embossing folder, I'm using the regular cutting plate, and I'm pushing this in, and then watch the handle. Ready? Do you see it move? Awesome, right? So, if we do not have enough tension, which it doesn't feel like I do, I'm gonna put a couple pieces underneath. Couple pieces of cardstock. So I'm gonna do three. And we'll see how this goes. But you just gotta kinda, like I said, make it up, make it happen. So, okay. So you want it to just be tight, but not to the point where you're like really having to crank, okay? So that one seems good because there's a little bit of tension, but not a ton. So let's see what it did. Hopefully it worked. Well, not as well as the other one, but you can see that it's lighter but not as good as the other one. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but we'll make it work. It's okay. <laughs> so the other one definitely worked better though. We'll just say that, huh? So if you did not get your flat spot, there's another way to do this. And that is the old fashioned way, which is to grab a bone folder and flatten out a little bit. Yeah. So let's do this and see if we can't flatten some of this out. I know we just did it, right? I can see it on the other side where it's not as much, but you know, it is what it is. So some days you win and some days you learn how to create something else, right? <laughs> so, all right. So for tonight, I'm going to get my gems out of here so I don't lose them. I'm going to grab my Versamark, grab my tray. And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing one of these flowers here. We're going to figure that out real quick. I think I'm going to grab a big one. That way I only have to do a couple. So, okay. So I'm gonna grab a block. Hey, Lise, how are you, hun? So the question of the day today is for the in colors that are going out, cinnamon cider, just jade, bumblebee, magenta, vadness, misty moonlight. Um, for those that are going out, which one are you gonna miss the most? So. That is the question of the day. So, all right, so now the trick is gonna be to stamp this as quickly as possible so I can still get the powder on and do it all at once. I am doing it a little bit differently. I'm doing it opposite of the other one, right? So just an idea for you. Try not to slide your stamp on here and it does take a tiny bit longer to dry. So I do have an extra second and a half um, because it's foil instead of the regular paper. So Misty Moonlight, yeah, I know, right? There are several that I'm like, oh. Misty Moonlight is one of mine. There's several others too. All right, trying to figure out where I stamped and where I didn't. So I am just dumping as quick and as much as I can. Gonna just flip it. And there is my embossed. Obviously I still have to heat it, right? But that's part of it. So we're gonna emboss this really quick. <laughs> Barb, you're good, honey. 
usually I have to get up to let the dog out. So he had just come back in. I get it completely. It's life. I'll see you on the replay, honey. So I'm going to heat this up really quick. Well, maybe really quick. We'll see, huh? <laughs> so when you guys do heat embossing, do you normally do white? Do you normally do clear? Do you normally do metallics? Or does it depend on the season or the project? I'm just curious. For me, I tend to do a lot of white and a lot of clear with the embossed resist kind of stuff. So, let's see. Let's get down here. I got a little bit that's still... Okay. Be careful not to brush up against until you've heated that. So it's kind of more of an abstract kind of look this way. The other was a little bit more floral and regular looking, I guess you would say. Almost looks like handprints, but teach his own, huh? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little piece, okay? And I'm going to find my stamp set. All right, so happy birthday, best wishes, you are lovely. I'm thinking of you. I think I'm thinking of you. Let's see if it fits, though. Yeah, it'll fit. It'll be fine. Let me get this cleaned real quick. I've changed my entire station, so I'm a little lost tonight on what's where. But I think it'll work better in the long run for you as well as for me. You did white today. Bronze. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I tend to go in phases. So, and I'm going to grab my basic gray to line up with this card, of course, right? And let's see if we can get this halfway straight. Perfect! Yay! Okay. Okay. So now... I should leave that out so I can stamp the back when I'm done, huh? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way with it instead. So we're going totally opposite of the other one. All the same, but totally opposite, right? <laughs> so there you go. So I don't know if you know this, but with Stampin' Up, if you are selling your cards, you don't have to be a demonstrator, but if you're intending to sell your cards, you do need to have a stamp on the back that says the copyright release. That's our angel policy. So just FYI for you in case you're thinking about it. You know, all that fun stuff. All right, so I'm going to grab here, grab my stamp and seal, and I'm going to throw my basic gray on there. If you're interested in saving paper and whatnot, this whole thing, except for that quarter inch, is going to be covered. So you could grab a few punches out of it or whatnot. So just don't get too close to the edge. Because if you get too close to the edge, what happens? You see the edges, right? And the holes. So you don't want to do that. All right. So now I'm going to throw this this way. Lisa, if you're still on, I ordered your stars today, this morning, bright and early, for the club bonus. I just want to let you know. So, now I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals. If you do not have mini dimensionals, cut the other ones in half. It's just that simple. But, if I don't want to gummy up my scissors, I have minis on my desk as well. So, there you go. Okay, so let's see here. So out of the art gallery set, 
Which is your favorite flower? The one with the stem, the big one, or the small one? The one with the stem already attached, the big one, or the smaller ones? I like that one. That's just me, though. I've done a ton of painting with it and all that kind of stuff, but... All right, so there's my... There's that. And we gotta have our bling on here, right? So there's our, these are our metallic pearls. They come in silver and in gold. All right, let me fold this. So it's officially done. What do y'all think? That's different, isn't it? What do you think of the new camera mount? Is it more stable? Is it less shadows? You know, all that fun stuff. Yes, they do offer that stamp set for this. What is it called? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Handmade for You is the one that's in the annual catalog. So this um, the silver after it's embossed like this reminds me a lot of um, duct tape cards. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to pull out some duct tape. <laughs> so I don't know if you've ever played with that or not. We've done masking tape in the past to do like a faux leather kind of thing. Yeah, that's dating ourselves because that's way back in like, oh, the 90s. Anyways, <laughs> but I, I found this card that says, um, it. everyone says duct tape fixes everything. We'll see. <laughs> so, um, and it's, the entire front of the card is just wrapped in duct tape. So I thought it was really cute. We'll see. So, so those are the two cards. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my app and we're going to do the question of the day raffle. Okay. And this is for the Island Vibes. Remember that the Lucky 13 bundles um, are on sale for... 20% off, not 20% off the bundle, but 20% off the original price. So an additional 10 off the bundle. So just FYI for you. Okay. So, all right, let me pull up my app and let's scroll through and do the question of the day. So So let's see here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, question of the day. I have Miss Cheryl. And I have Lise. Next time use the hashtag, please, just so I could see it quicker. But we're good. So Lise, Cheryl. Lisa and Cheryl, so far, last call, last call, last call. I'll come back after I type in the two names. Anybody else for question of the day? Anybody, anybody? Oh, water, 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 because it's been warm today. So. All right, I am gonna, let's see here. I'm gonna scroll through, make sure I didn't miss anybody. I'm pretty sure Lisa already has this set and that's why she's not on. No, I'm just teasing, cause you were on, so. All right, so Lisa and Cheryl. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, pick a random name. Lisa, congratulations on winning Island Vibes. So, for next week, please, please comment, say yay or something like that, and I'll put it in your bag and we will get it. <laughs> so, um, next week, I will be doing shaker cards. I will be doing a traditional way. I will be doing one with a clear envelope, and I will be doing one with, like, a lacy front. 
So join me next week. We will be doing sequin stuff and probably doing mess. <laughs> so, um, you could leave it for others or you could win it and have it for a gift. You know, it's all the same though. So thanks again for joining me. Follow me, stampinwithjohnny.com. And join me next week and we will be doing shaker cards. Thanks again. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.